What are your thoughts right now? DeSantis Trump, where are you at with that? Has anything changed? Listen, here's what I say. And, you know, I got to people sometimes knock me because, you know, my whole thing, I talk about mob stuff and everything. Michael, don't get into politics. And what I try to tell people, this is not politics. These are issues that are affecting your life. The way politicians are dealing with it, they're creating these issues. But these are issues that are affecting, you know, our lives, our very lives. So I try to tell people it's not politics. I'm interested in the future of this country and my kids, my grandchildren, your kids. This is issues that we need to talk about. So when, when you look at Biden in that regard, I, I just can't believe, you know, the damage that he's done to this country and continues. You know, and, and look, if he was a good Democrat, hey, great. You know, he's doing the right thing. So getting back to Trump and DeSantis, I love DeSantis. I, I, re- I got to say, I love what he's doing. I love his boldness. I think all his moves were right. And when Trump was in office, I thought his policies were great. His policies. I thought he didn't act presidential in so many ways, getting on Twitter and doing things. I really believe, Patrick, and forget the conspiracy theories about the, you know, the, the fraud and, the, and the, uh, the election. If he would have a year before all of this, he would have said, you know what? I'm not going to argue with Nancy Pelosi. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to stoop to that level. I'm worried about the people in this country. I'm going to continue to do the right thing for the country and, and get rid of all that other stuff that he did, all that pettiness, all that divisiveness. That's what killed him. I understand he's a New Yorker. He fights back. In his defense, I've never seen anybody get attacked like that. Mm-hmm. Every single day of his life, getting boom, boom. I, I've never seen anything like it. And, you know, to his credit, he stood up to it. He didn't fold. And he didn't, he didn't go under the pressure, but the way he reacted, it, it was so divisive, and people have had enough. Even now, you know, the one thing about the, him on the CNN uh, deal, he acted more present. He tried to stay on the issues. I said, wow, maybe, maybe there's, you know, the, the light went off in his head. Maybe he's starting to realize, forget all this other nonsense. Tell people what they need to hear, what they want to hear, how you're going to fix what's wrong in this country. Because that's what people are starving to hear. Look, you know, they can say whatever they say. Uh, you know, I, I believe the southern border. I mean, look, you gotta be in, you got to be on drugs not to realize what's going on. He's bringing all these people in here. He's going to hope it's some way he gives them a path to citizenship so they can vote or at least vote. And they want to be in power forever. That's it. That's it. That's the total plan. They're not humanitarians. They don't care about these people coming in. That's got to be the plan. And for people not to see that, I don't get it. I really don't, Patrick. So, you know, Trump DeSantis, okay, if Trump were back in office, his policies would be good. He would, I think he would do the right thing again. I really believe that he cares about this country. I mean, that's what I see in him. Aside from all the other clutter that's around him, he cares about this country. But I don't know if we can take that again. I don't know if we can take him in office again. So you would rather see DeSantis over Trump? You know, because I think DeSantis, his policies will be just as good. He'll do the right thing and maybe less stuff that we have to listen to. Unless the right, I mean, the left goes after him in the same way. I don't know. He doesn't have that kind of baggage, it seems, mm-hmm. that, it, that, that he can be attacked like Trump was. But... I think Michael brings up a really good point uh, about maybe the difference between Trump and DeSantis. You know, a wise man once said, choose your enemies wisely, right? That would be a great book title. Yeah, it'd be a great book title (laughs) coming out soon. Um, And I think Trump's problem was, I think Michael's absolutely right. He was attacked viciously by the left. And some of it was warranted. Some of it was unwarranted. Some of it was Trump derangement syndrome. The problem with Trump is... Everyone was his enemy. Like, you know how they say, don't punch down, punch up, right? Mm -hmm. He would pick a fight with everybody. Like, no matter what, he would punch them 10 times harder. And 99% of the time, he should not even respond to some of these Twitter folks or just any just media outlet, anything. Just don't even give him the time of day. But he would. And he would engage in these little battles with people that were completely beneath him. Whereas DeSantis, uh, maybe he... Had a, a a little preview of that book that that might be coming out soon. Well, I love, and his, he's choosing his enemies very wisely. Whether it's Disney, whether it's the woke, Florida is where woke comes to die. Whether it's the abortion issue, he's picking and choosing his battles. But I loved his one response when Trump was banging on him, and somebody said, "What do you think about Trump banging on?" He says, "I'm not a candidate." Right. That was it. But just perfect. Correct. Response. He's spe- he, he's he's 
living to the fullest what we're talking about yeah. right now. He's like he knows that it doesn't make sense at this point no. to start engaging in a battle with Trump yet. At some point, he's going to probably have to step up to the podium to do that. If he wants, well, ho hopefully he'll do it intelligently, and he won't get into the the real dirt the way Trump does. I mean, mm -hmm. that's that's not good for anybody. It, it wears you out. It wears you. Was out. that your biggest problem with out. Trump? Not the policies. It was just the uh, personality, and then going down that rabbit hole of of nonsensical stuff. I, I cannot believe some of the you know criticisms that people have about Trump, and I tell him, listen. You know, in a way, President, it is a personality contest. You want to see somebody that's charismatic and has a personality. But it's really about his policies and how he deals with America. And I used to tell him, it's not personal. I'm not going to have, you know, Trump go out with my daughter. I don't invite him over for dinner. But his policies were good for America. Mm -hmm. You know, so w what else are you looking at? What do you care about what he did in his personal life? I mean, yeah, you know, now, I mean, you know, the, the CNN... You know, some of the, the uh, criticism of him, well, he's, you know, he's a, a sexual abuser and he's this, he's that. How could you have him on television? Well, he's running for president. What do you mean? You know, that's when you realize, is CNN really a news organization anymore? Because the people within CNN are knocking them. Meanwhile, they had the highest ratings they had in how long? Why wouldn't you put them on the air? You know who's calling Trump's <clears throat> camp right now? MSNBC. Saying, hey, we, and then NBC from the top is saying, you guys better not do this. This is not worth it. Don't give them the eyeballs. MSNBC is like, shit, we need some ratings. Bring <laughs> that guy here. Absolutely. We need some eyeballs as well. And then, and then you know who's probably going to end up being last? It's going to be Fox. Fox is going to end up being last on a town is hall. He's going to do a town hall with everybody. L look how he works. Look how he works. These are the things that you have to give credit to. Fox doesn't want to do a town hall. He says, no problem. Who's your number one enemy? CNN. I'm going to go do a town hall with them. Then MSNBC. Then you're going to call me and say, why are we not doing a town hall? Because <clears throat> all the Fox viewers are going to ask you, how come you're not doing sure. a town hall? Your fans, your viewers who pay you the money are going to force you to do a town hall and it's going to be on my terms. So I'll be patient. In the next six months, you'll host a town hall for me, except it's going to be on my terms. This is the kind of stuff that you want a guy like that that's negotiating with Putin, with Xi, with Zelensky, with this, with that. You, 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 want, you want that. You, you don't want somebody that's going and saying whose ice cream is better, Russia or China. You, know, you want somebody that's wanting to really figure out ways to use power plays.